Hello and welcome to Dating Delusions. I hope everyone's having another fantastic day on today's episode. We will look at modern women. It's all about them. And man, you see these profiles. It just talks about all the things they want for a man and just hardly ever talks about anything they'll do for a man. Let's get into it. I do not want to say this. I don't. This is why other groups of women are seemingly more successful when it comes to relationships and marriages and anything of that sort than us. And that's because a lot of what we are taught as women, especially within the black community, we're taught. Now, I want to say this to be clear. Uh, you know, I don't get into politics, religion, uh, you know, race stuff uh, on the channel. So I would say this applies to not just the black community, black women, but to, to all women. So keep that in mind. Uh, she's obviously giving her perspective, you know, being a black lady, but to continue. That womanhood is finesse culture, right? Within the black community, we're taught a lot of the times that in order to be successful in the relationship, you have to have one up over your partner, over your husband, over your boyfriend, over your significant other, over your lover, over whatever. Like you're supposed to be on the up. You must have the, the leverage. You're supposed to have the upper hand. We're taught that that is how you're supposed to conduct yourself within a relationship. So this is an interesting, really interesting point. And, you know, she's nailing it, by the way. Um, you know, women can't date down. So as they, if they choose the path, uh, you know, the man's path going, you know, putting their career first, things that's what they're doing right now. You know, and again, I'm not saying, ladies, if you find the channel and you think that, I mean, I'm saying go do what you want to do, but just understand the man you're going to get later in life is going to be different than the man you could have secured in your 20s at your SMV peak if you're putting your career first. So you get the bag and you get that and then you still, you, that this is the main problem too. They often want a guy that they are highly attracted to, a Chad type guy, a guy who's fit, attractive and has money <clears throat> status, but they also kind of want him to be like, soft and sensitive to them and like you know kind of simp to them and these two things just aren't you're never going to find that in one man so yes you're going to have to you know maybe there will be a power dynamic if you want alpha dominant chad type guys who are successful and so thinking you can you know make those dudes simp for you they're not going to and you you, you see this kind of you know, control it's it's about control it is and those kind of men, you know, look, I know the one woman's given you a, a quality. I mean, the, the gender pay gap is gone. Ladies can do whatever profession they want and making just as much money. And it's mandated by the government. So, you know, you look in the statistics, you can argue that all you like. You can't pay people less money or they'd be sued all the time. That's another thing about that. But uh, we're digressing. Continue, him. Is again, what makes us not that ideal for a relationship by any group of men. Right? We really do get fucked up based upon how we're taught, what we're taught. Oh, make sure that, you know, you get this out of him and make sure that he don't never get that out of you and make sure that you got your own this. Like we're, we're taught how to be snakes. That's womanhood within the black community. Yeah, and, and again, I don't, I don't, I think this is pervasive across Western society. I don't think this is just a, a race issue. I think this is Western society because we're seeing this in the profiles and it's not just from a woman of color. It's certainly from uh, women across the board talking about what they can get and what they want and, you know, take me on places, and especially the younger ladies talking about all the stuff they want and you know men's resources and getting you know the expensive clothes they have on so that it's not just that it's a modern woman issue now and i get it from her perspective of course i mean she's there but we're seeing this you know all over the place um it's a great point 
And yeah, when when your primary mission is to, and that's what I'm saying, when, when women try to talk about, you know, men are manipulative, women are infinitely more manipulative than men. And ladies, you can put in the comments, I mean, you gotta be kidding me that, you know, men are simple. We're very much more straightforward in general. And yeah, if you're going after Chad and Tyrone, I mean, obviously he's he might have some game. He might not be all straight up with you, but why he doesn't need to be. I mean, he's, you, you see that he's, if you, you know, ladies, if you're dating a guy who is super hot, yeah, he's got options. I mean, obviously it's not, I mean, just, it's not rocket science to understand that. Just like, you know, men know that beautiful women have all kinds of options. Well, let's get into the nonsense. So before I go to the uh, first profile and the great profile, I do want to pump the uh, the channel membership again. We have all these new subscribers. Again, I want to thank you so much for joining the channel. But we do have our membership, and we have do a we do a live stream just for the members on Monday nights. Now we'll do sometimes we'll do public live streams as well. But if you do want to get extra content, join the join the fun for all the members. Uh, membership is just five bucks a month. It's not it's not that much, and I and I really appreciate. It. I get I, and I I hope I earn that. That money with all the free, you know a free and paid content but there's a ton of other uh, live episodes you can catch as well that's going to be tonight so anyway let's get in the nonsense so on dating delusions we always start with a great profile this is the great profile of day and she's 32 and you know she she's just doing it right that's what i'm saying she wants kids she does have this i'm a phd but you know she's starting at a young enough age now why she's you know 32 and still looking for this guy when she's attractive enough we don't know but you know, the house is not in disarray. She's got a nice little house here. Now, I'm just in the best picture ever, but you know, she just seems fun and sweet. She says, about me, let's have snacks, tell secrets and change the world. Now, I mean, the change the world thing is a little ridiculous, but I mean, that's, it's, at least she's saying something that we can do together. Let's, let's, I mean, ladies, that's a great point. Put something that looks like we're doing something together, not just like, here's what I want, because so many of you just go, here's what I want, not it's gonna be some sort of partnership. She continues. Here she is smiling with a friend. She's having a time, you know, she's she's in a nice dress, I mean, or, sorry, nice outfit, but she's smiling at us again. She says, I promise I won't judge you if you fall in love with me with a laugh emoji. So she's kind of, you know, making a joke. She doesn't say she's witty. She's actually making a joke. Good job, ma'am. We see this all the time. I have a great sense of humor. Then make a damn joke. She continues. Here she is with this, I don't know, smooch or pooch kissing booth. I mean, how cute is this with the dog? She doesn't say she has a dog. She just she just has a picture with the dog. She says, the quickest way to my heart is Twizzler pull and peels. Ma'am, that's fantastic. Good. It's light and fun. Ladies, you just can't get on these apps and get so damn serious. It It's so unattractive. It, it, it's so much this. Let the hate flow through you. She continues. Here she is smiling, a friend kind of looking, she's on the left, you know, looking off camera. They're both having a good time. She's feminine, she's sweet. She'll have great dating success. There's, you know, she has tons of options. Ma'am, I hope you choose correctly. You get a round of applause. <laughs> Ladies, just give it a try. If you find the channel and you're just starting to disagree with what I'm saying, change your profiles and make it sweet like that. Act, take out all the vitriol and all the anger and you know maybe get therapy yourselves and try that and see how many more swipes you get and how the quality of men go up, especially if you're fit. But uh, of course, that's not what they do. Let's get the nonsense. So she's 40, had no picture, just it's black up there for a reason. She says, owner and creator at some sort of fishing thing, and this will become important real soon. About me, smokers of any sort swipe left. I don't like wasting time. If you're still reading this, then second part might get a left swipe. If you don't know how to bass fish or aren't an outdoorsy kind of guy, you aren't my type. Swipe left if you can't fish for, with me for eight hours straight. Of course, how selfish of me. Let's do all the things that you want to do. Yeah, man, what the hell? Why would we have to bass fish with you? I mean, just go find a guy at like a fishing thing or something. Like, I, I, I just can't believe you put this. I mean, you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. These ladies just come on here and want to challenge men. It's just all about them and what they want. And just let's challenge us. And we're sarcastic and sassy. She's going to confirm it. Lastly, I'm witty, sarcastic and flirt like a third grader. So you got to be kind of tough to hang out with me. If you're into being outfished by a chick and trash talking, then let's chat. I'm sorry, actually, what I said was, how would you like to suck my butt? Man, 
Sam, I can't believe you're 40 years old and you think men are like this. I don't know one man who wants to sit there and bash, bass fish with a lady all day and trash talk and, and worry about getting outfished by them. I mean, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. I, I just don't understand what's happened to these ladies. This is the 2023. Women have never had more rights and more freedoms. And they're just still so angry. That I, I really don't get it. You can do whatever you want. You have equality. You you succeeded. The woman has movie got it to you. You can have bedroom from whoever you want. And you're all still miserable and angry. It's just bizarre. Continue. So she's 52. And that's <laughs> going to get real good real quick. Says, all that I ask is you be intelligent, direct, honest, fit, funny, adventurous, well-versed, active, not religious, secure, open-minded, 420 plus. Can you call over your conquest plays? Can you keep up? Seriously. I want a hamburger. No, a cheese. I want a hot dog. I want a milkshake. I want potatoes. You'll chip. get nothing in like. Ma'am, as you get older, you have to have less requirements, not more. I don't understand how you guys don't understand this. You can't just come in here in your 50s and go, I want Chad. Because that's basically you're saying, I want non-religious, liberal, weed-smoking, successful Chad. The, a lot of those things don't go together, ma'am. It's got to be fit. It's everything you want. I mean, what are you doing to secure this, man? Also, if you wanted a guy like this, you can't wait to your 50s. She continues. And you can just see, I mean, I, <laughs> Ma'am, I have this for you. I told you that bitch crazy. And look at the ego. And they, they say men are egotistical. Look it up there. There's four pictures of herself. Another picture of herself with this crazy eyes and some, and then one thing I'll never do again, jump off an airplane, go to church, no discussion necessary, drink tequila. I mean, fine. And you know, and you see this all the time. You see the super religious ladies going, I have to have a guy, exactly the same religion. Here's this lady, I'm not religious. You have to be not religious with me. Ladies, as you get older, you have to be more accepting of different things. You can't just, yeah, when you're in your 20s, sure, if you want the guy to go to your exact church, and be an exact height and things like that. But as you get older, this has to change. He might not be taller than you. He might not be richer than you, but you can't date down. You all can't date down. You have to think you're getting a good deal and it's never going to happen when you're 50s. Ma'am, I have to already do it. That's why you would buy a dog and die alone. We continue. So she's 55, says local at nonprofits. It's about me, kind, fun, humble, outgoing, and a great sense of humor. Ma'am, hang on. Stop the cap. Ma'am, if you have a great sense of humor, then make a joke. Why do you just list this stuff like a laundry list and just go, okay, here's what I think I am. It's not determined by you. I mean, can you imagine if I started my videos? By the way, you're welcome to Dating Delusions. I have a great sense of humor. You all would be like, <laughs> this. How about new? Don't stop it, Daniels. My interest being a better person, <laughs> humor, <laughs> romance. <laughs> Ma'am, it sounds like this. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. <laughs> what would I have to do? Red alert. I just, this this place, 55 years old going, I, I'm all these things. You're so funny, make jokes, ma'am. I mean, I this isn't funny and ladies, most ladies aren't that funny. You're, maybe your other lady friends think you're funny. And romance isn't an interest. That's just a wish list. It's just, I want to be, I want someone to romance me. Ladies, you have to secure these men earlier in life then and submit to a man, but you can't. You just can't. You always pick the right, wrong men. And that that's on you, not mentioning you sports, learning and discovery, cultures, people, and travel. Stop! Stop that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, yep, take me traveling. Man, I'm highly attracted to, sure, ma'am. Continues, and you, she does say something nice, okay, so she wants to find a guy, but ma'am, you're, ma'am, you're in here now. Into the danger zone. It's just almost, it's really almost too late, and look what she writes. My partner, honest, 
independent, funny, open-minded, humble, traveled, and conscious. Yeah. See, you guys value men who are independent because that's the, the, the you know, what you don't want is this. Beta! You get turned off by guys who are dependent on you, but we don't want independent women. And I guarantee that's what you think you're some strong and independent. No, you want strong and independent men. You want the men that you can look up to who are independent. And she says, I'm looking for a lifetime. Ma'am, it's way too late for that, ma'am. But I do have the perfect man for you. Yes. See, ma'am, he's funny. I bet he'll be romantic with you. But see, you, you're saying you want older Chad to be funny and take you traveling and give you tingles. It's not like you ladies swipe on every man and go, okay, cool, take me because you're well-traveled. There's tons of men who look like this, are, are like this, but you're waiting for the guy that you're highly attracted to. It's why it's so stupid to put this white men. I can't, look, gentlemen, if you find the channel, you know, the, we get the, all this specific stuff out of our profiles because for a lot of us, it really is. We just find what fit, feminine, friendly. So putting all this other crap in there is just dumb. Like the, the most important thing, honestly, for most guys is that she's attractive. And then we go from there. If she's fit, feminine, friendly, we don't care about earning potential. We don't care about this stuff. Putting all this stuff in the, in the, you can have it in your head, but putting it out here, you sound ridiculous, ma'am. Can you? But here's my problem, right? Women value tradition when it's in their benefit. So they value tradition when it comes to a man having to propose to them, but they won't value a traditional man when he says, hey, you gotta sit in the house and cook and clean. So like you can't pick and choose the parts of the tradition that you're going to stick by and stand by. If you're gonna be open-minded, you have to be open-minded to all. Yeah, there you go. That's that's exactly it. So you can't, I mean, and I've said this in the channel a whole bunch of times. It, it's just, it's incredibly selfish to say, I want traditional outcomes, I, but I'm not traditional. I'm not fit, I'm not pure and all this stuff, but I want traditional men. Of course, it's a great deal. I mean, chivalry is a fantastic deal for women. Open my car door, spend money on me, and I don't have to commit that if you want all that stuff, then submit to your man, ladies. You want that, be what men want and submit to them and you'll get all that treatment. But coming here with your anger and all your list of demands, it, guys are just, we're wise up to, we're not gonna do it, can you? So she's 52, calls herself black girl magic and it's gonna get good real fast. She's got her dumb pronouns. She says she's a manifester, which is gonna be doubly good. It says about me, simple down the earth connections, desire with potential for unbridled devotion. Man, what the? The bitch is crazy. <laughs> What the hell are you talking about? Unbridled devotion? I mean, are you gonna do that to him? But no, they mean for her. She wants a man to simp for her. What is she saying? Five, five, slim, thickish, man. We can just see you up there. You don't need to You don't need to describe your body type, man, when I can we can just see you up there. I mean, yeah, she's fit-ish. I mean, yeah, I, I, for me it's a little overweight, but I some guys are into that. Fine. Snack size. 12 year old. Son. Oh my God, who the hell cares? I'll take a step back right here. Ladies, this is exactly the issue. When you have kids in your 40s and mid 40s and late 40s, and then you don't stay with the baby daddy, or whatever the hell happened now, she's 52 with a young kid. There is no way a man around her age, the Tyrone's or Chad you're swip swiping on would ever take this deal. They do not want to deal with a young kid in their 50s, unless maybe they started a family with someone much younger. They're not going to date you, ma'am. So I looked this up. This is um, God, I S Y M F. So it's um, it's like something about weightlifting. It's like your next set, motherfuckers, whatever. Um, so okay, so she likes to weightlift. Fine. So she does, she does try to stay fit. Fine. Looking for forever husband. Had a starter husband. Oh, good for you. Yep, exactly it. She left that man thinking she could do better in her fifties now, and it's never going to happen, ma'am. You should go. Really, I would tell this lady go back to your husband, make it work. He's gonna care about your son. He's gonna care about these things that you want a man to care about. We don't care about your kids. They're your kids. Continues. Aries, proper fire. Astrology's dumb as fuck. Yeah, it's really stupid, man. You're 52 years old. Like, did, did, you, are you gonna talk about ghosts and goblins next? She continues. Black mixed with African, Black Lives Matter. Yeah, great, man. This isn't your own Reddit or Facebook, ma'am. We don't care about this crap. My daddy loved me. My brothers too. Ma'am, you're 52, my daddy. <laughs> 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 
Then she's gonna tell us to heal, then reach out, and now she's gonna get super negative. I hope you're ready. No hat fishing, take that hat off. No teeth fishing, smile sometime. No height fishing, don't lie. Catfish, and then like, man, that's not how catfish work, but I have this for you. Ladies, if you come off like this in your profile, if you want any sort of a self-respecting dominant man who has his life together, would never swipe on this profile. If you're full of this crap, you keep it fun and flirty and feminine and sweet, or you're not gonna get the men you want. I mean, unless you're a model. Sure, if you're a young model, you can throw up whatever and, and guys will swipe on you, of course, but ma'am, you're 52, you're full of yourself in this wacky outfit up here with your 12 year old kid and you think you have some leverage over men. You don't. You have no leverage. Any man who would take the deal, you consider yourself lucky, but you think you could be picky, can you? So on that note, she's got her dumb pronoun, she's 21, and she's about me living in Soho. Love, love, love to travel. Stop. Stop. Good for you, ma'am. And you know what she's getting at here, of course. She then says, big shopper. One million dollars. <throat> well, but see, this is the difference, ladies. And I'll take a step back again. This is the difference. She's 21, so we're getting her best years. So if an older guy does take her around the world traveling, she probably hasn't been everywhere yet. And yeah, he might spend a bunch of money because he's getting, you know, to be with a much younger woman. But if you're in your 40s and 50s and you're swiping a man around your age and think he's going to swipe, take you around the world traveling, it's just not realistic. Unless you're going to swipe a man in their 60s and 70s who sees you as a prize. And they, they just don't get it, did you? Today's comment. And it's from Sensor Tube, and Sensor Tube always uh, makes some great comments. And uh, it says, I hope every guy sees the first video. This is from yesterday's video. I didn't get the, it wasn't one of the first comments, so. And knows how to avoid this woman. The arrogance of putting on the internet. Yeah, this is the lady who basically was on one date and then started a second date because, you know, and even the guy was attractive, but, you know, he, whatever it was, did something that she didn't like. Imagine dating a woman, then finding a video like that, avoid. Yeah, that's exactly another issue, too. I mean, Get, putting this on TikTok now I don't know if some of these are staged they probably are but I can't even imagine later on finding this and going you know, wow that's kind of sucks I mean did you did, did they even think of that that you know that guy the, the, she made up fake names but the dude was named Alex finding out later that she was literally literally went home with another dude I mean it's so it, it, and she was so this I got a whole freezer full of popsicles mmm center two give a round of applause So this lady is 60 years old and she's a landscape designer. And she says about me, seeking a mature man without drama. <laughs> you can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious. <laughs> yeah, this lady, look at her hair at 60 years old. She's like, I want someone mature and I'm not th without drama. Ma'am, you look like pure drama. I can't. Oh my God. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Yeah, this is definitely the picture of no drama. I'm sure she's just completely sane. She then says he was looking for a long-term relationship. Ma'am, we all know that ladies in their danger zone are later than danger. Of course you're looking for relationships. But see, the problem is you ladies. You should be on here going, here's the reasons why you should pick me, even though I'm well past my prime. I'm a great cook. I'm good at this. I'll help with chores. I'll make your life easier. No, but you, your pride keeps you all single because you've listened to the womanist movement. You think that that you're the prize. To, it does, it's not work this way. You need to be the men's piece and what they want, or you're not going to get relationships. Do what you want. It doesn't affect me at all, but do what you want. These profiles should be a list of why you're amazing and not what you want. They don't get it because it's all about them. And she continues. 
No players need to swipe right. What? You mean swipe left, ma'am? I don't know what you're... No players need to swipe. Yeah, so don't swipe any of your player. Yeah, so I mean... She, Ma'am, I don't. Chad and Tyrone would laugh you off the planet. Don't worry. Players are in there. I mean, ma'am, it's so this. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. We continue. So she's 56 and says about me. Hello. I stable and financially independent. One billion, gajillion, fifillion. Shabby loo, million, shabby. Come on, shabby, million. Yeah. Sure, ma'am. I stable. <laughs> you feel very stable. Oh, I believe in being respectful and honest. Sure, ma'am. I enjoy the outdoors and different types of activities. Laid back, spelled wrong as well. Ma'am, you're 56 years old. How does she know the basic grammar and spelling? Sure. With a sense of humor. Ma'am, then make a joke. Why do you always just say you have a sense of humor? Make a damn joke. I'm open to learning new things. I'm sure, ma'am. This tells us nothing. I'm looking for a long term. Yes, we know. No short term. Please explain what short term even means. Yeah, please do explain that, ma'am. That's just basically, you're, that's hooking up or whatever it is. But why do you guys worry about it? You just meet men you want to meet and don't meet the men you don't want to meet and see where things go. That's, it's real simple. I would like a hiking gym partner and weekend getaways. <laughs> ma'am, I this for you. <laughs> One hundred billion dollars. Yeah, take me on weekend getaways. So you're saying you want a long-term relationship, a basic relationship, but you're saying like only when it's convenient for me. This is not how it works, ladies. Why would a guy do it? Why would he invest resources with a lady who just wants to see him on the weekends and, and spend money on him? At, when you're 56, ma'am, I mean, they are just so insane. Adventurous and spontaneous, of course, you want all the exciting men. It's that they want exciting dudes to spend money on them. It doesn't matter what age they are. She continues, I am not 420 friendly or any drug friendly. Okay, ma'am, stop dating guys. They, you don't have to date guys. Who do, I mean, I, why do you need to put this? The next phase of my life will be the best of my life. <laughs> Y'all, I think modern women ruin dating, and here's why. Let's get into it. Hookup culture. Women giving their bodies away to men that have not committed to them on any level. They've made relationships transactional, not being realistic. Now the majority of women want the minority of men, using tactics of shame and emasculating men to manipulate them in doing what they want them to do. Some men now are choosing to go their own way, not even trying to date in this modern dating culture. Ain't that a shame? A lot of good men not dating because they don't see value in this modern dating culture. Now I'm, you know, and I've talked about this, you know, we're not MGTOW on this channel, but I completely understand why some guys just drop out of it. And like, I don't want to deal with this. You know, when it's the, these demands and these, you know, unrealistic ex expectations of men, and you just, you've seen the profiles. I mean, if you, you get me, this is episode 294. You've seen these issues with these ladies, like just the, uh, what they are asking for often just isn't anywhere near what they're providing. And they don't even talk about what they're providing. So, you know, ladies, you just got to stop this attitude. It's all about me. And that's, uh, of course, what's the theme of today's episode. We continue. So on that note, she's 43 and she says, I'm a world traveler. It's coming to me now. I see financial disaster in your future. Ma'am, it costs tens of thousands of dollars to travel the world all the time. You really have that much money? I, I, it's, it's this. Stop the cap. No, you want guys to take you traveling. And you see the thing that they, again, they just have, are so clueless. They think what they want out of a man is what we're attracted to. Ladies, if you've been everywhere, and we've said this on the channel many times, if you've already been everywhere, there's no wonder. Why does a guy need to take you places you've already been? You're just gonna be like, oh, I've already been here. I've had it happen to me on trips with gals like, oh, I've already been here before. Oh, it's kind of nice. Like, yeah, we want women with some wonder and you don't have any, ma'am. About me, I'm a new professional tool to the certain area. Looking for fun and new things of experience. Yes, you all are, ma'am. You all want exciting guys to spend money on. She continues. I will not give up my number until we chat for a bit. Safety first. Or 
Here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the f*** up. Yeah, but you did. First of all, if it's Chad, you definitely would give out your number. But you, again, why do you ladies have to put things that are so angry in here? And the guys you're going to ask for your number are just going to ask. It's, I, I don't understand something enticing, ladies. There's nothing here. Once again, it just looks like you want to spend our money. We continue. Well, so, you know, we have all kinds of different final profiles and I always save the best for last. And some are delusional, some are hilarious, and some are like this. This is just extremely angry person. So if you're not ready for that, pause for a moment and come back to this, but here we go. So she is 32 and says, reader, don't hit me up. Y'all weird as fuck. I'm not nice. I'm a mom. Oh, good, ma'am. What a great way to start. A friendly lady. Oh, joy. Very old school when it comes to dating. <laughs> Stop the cap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're really old school, ma'am. <laughs> it's a friendly lady. God, yeah, sure. I like alpha men who lead, support, protect, and provide. You know it's all about me. You know it's all about me. I'm sure you do, ma'am. It's a great deal for you. Alpha men would not put up with your crap. They would not come home to a lady who talks like this. And also, you're a single mom past this. Of course you all want that. You all want the same type of guy. And that kind of guy is not gonna deal with your crap, ladies. If you want men like that, you better be friendly and fit and kind and sweet. She continues. Most messages ask the same thing. Be original, make me laugh. I want to be mentally stimulated. Oh, good for you. It's all about me, ma'am, sure. Just keep going. If I want you to have my number, I'll give it to you. Yep, she's going to also threaten us. <laughs> Are you threatening me? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> she's not close to being done, though. Don't worry. You got three more pictures. Very family oriented. Yes, of course you are. She's got a, she's a, you're a single mom. And she smokes too. And you're going to see her in a second. I mean, Good Lord, if your idea of date is in your home, if you're just going to ask me what you're doing every day, block me. I'm not the girl for a lot of you, only one. <laughs> Ma'am, what? Ma'am, just delete the conversation. It's not on the men to block you if you don't like it. If you don't like something the man says or what they do, delete them. But ma'am, men aren't taking you seriously because of one person, you. If you were fit, if you were feminine friendly and not a single mom, Maybe you'd have men who wanted to date you. You don't, and you don't get romance because of you. She continues. She then says a social cause I care about is Black Lives Matter. Not the lady whole stole. I just care about everything black. Really? I mean, that's real rich, ma'am, because you actually are black. But I mean, and I look, I'm not going to get into this, but ma'am, this doesn't matter. It's not your own Facebook or Reddit. It just isn't. And you can see her filtered pictures up there and look at how un unfiltered. I mean, she looks way older than 32. I think she's probably doing this. Stop the cap. She continues. And you can see it right there. She then says she's funny, smart, funny, sarcastic, and chill. Ma'am, I have this for you. I'm dead sexy. Look at my sexy body. Oh, yeah. Just what we want. Not only are you sarcastic, and you're not very funny and you're not friendly. You're also massively overweight and you're overvaluing yourself, ma'am. Any man who would take the deal with a single mom who's drastically overweight would be a great deal for you, but you don't see it that way because it's all about you and your tingles. She continues. Here she is drinking and eating more and she then says, I'm looking for someone who isn't a drone. I'm a fire sign. I need something different from the norm. Basic questions will get basic answers. Ma'am, I have this for you too.
I'll end it there for today. Thank you again for watching our episode of Dating Delusions. I really do appreciate all our subscribers and support. Thank you so much for joining the channel. If you did like the content, give it a like. If you're not subscribed, you watch a couple videos, go ahead and subscribe now. It's free to do and really helps me out. And I will see you on the next episode. Have a great day. Peace.